Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of the new screensavers that are found in macOS Sonoma. This is one of the big headlining new features of the new macOS update, where it allows you to have dynamic screensavers that are in motion when you're on the screensaver menu. It's a pretty simple process, but it makes your Mac look so much more visually appealing on the screensaver. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this new feature sort of allows you to seamlessly connect your desktop wallpaper and your screensaver in a sort of unified way that makes it seamlessly transition between both of them. So you'll see that this, what I have set here on my Mac is the default macOS Sonoma wallpaper here, and you can see that it's static. Now when I go into the screensaver, so to activate the screensaver I've got a hot corner up in the top left here. Uh, if you'd like to see how a video on how to make hot corners on your Mac, check the link up in the cards and in the description below. It allows quick access between some uh, commonly used uh, functions on your Mac. So in this case, if I activate the screensaver, you'll see that the entire desktop goes away and then it seamlessly transitions into the nice moving wallpaper. And you'll see that this wallpaper is seamlessly animating from my desktop wallpaper into a now motion screensaver. And then once I wake the computer up, it will slowly come to a halt and then it will stop and then it will stop there and that will be your wallpaper. And then if I go back into the screen tape, you'll see it will start moving again and it just animates right up until you're ready to start using your Mac again and you start wiggling the mouse. So it's kind of functions in a similar way that the Apple TV has for many years now. So we'll let it go um, into a motion here and then when I wiggle the mouse, you'll see that it will slowly come to a halt and you'll see that it has stopped in this position here. Now, macOS Sonoma comes pre-installed with a whole lot of options for this. So you've got this abstract one, which is the default, and you've got plenty of others as well. So if we go into system settings here and then we scroll down on the left and go to wallpaper, you'll see that you, we have a lot of different options here. So this is the default dynamic one, um, Sonoma. It's got light and dark mode options. However, we've also got the default Sonoma Horizon, which is the default landscape that will come pre-installed when you install macOS Sonoma. So if we minimize that, you can see that this is the Sonoma Horizon. There's your static wallpaper. And then if we go up into the screensaver, it will start to animate and you'll see that it slowly moves forward over the Sonoma horizon. Now it's quite slow. Um, some of them are faster than others, but it's just nice enough to keep it moving on the screen. So it's still a screensaver and it just has a nice sort of visual look to it. So it works really nicely. And then when I wiggle the mouse, you'll see that it comes back. Now in system settings, you'll see that we have a lot of different options between landscapes, cityscapes, underwater and earth and we can also shuffle them as well and you'll see that there's 61 options for cityscape uh, sorry landscapes here you'll see that there's a show all button so we can see all of the 61 here and you'll see that there's plenty of different options here so then I'll keep scrolling there's all the landscapes then there's 30 cityscapes which I'll show you here you can see we can go through them there then underwater options, so if you want to have an underwater wallpaper. And then we've also got plenty of Earth satellite wallpapers, so for many different countries here. Uh, and then we can shuffle them as well if we would like to. So I've downloaded another example in the landscape section. So I've got Oregon Sunset here. So we can see that I can set that. And you can see that this is what it looks like. And then when I go into the screensaver, you'll see that this one moves from left to right. And it's also got the waves animating. So it's a slow motion image of the camera moving across in the sunset at this particular location. And I actually think this one looks quite nice. Um, and it just continues that. And then when it gets to the end, it will cut back to the start. Now, that's one thing I think Apple could improve. I think a nice fade would be nice when it hits the end. 
fades back to the start. Maybe that will be included in a future software update, but as of right now, it just cuts back from the end to the start. But still, it looks pretty nice, and they're fairly long um, videos, so you won't see the cut all that often. All right, so you can see that that's how the screensavers work. Um, now, when we go back into system settings, you'll see that most of these are not downloaded onto your computer. In fact, all of them by default, except for the default Sonoma and Sonoma Horizon, will all need to be downloaded. And you can tell that by the little arrow, the down arrow that is next to all of them. So as soon as you click on one to change it, it will have to download. Now, these are fairly big files because they're very high resolution videos, essentially. So when you click on one, it might take a couple of minutes to download. Um, sometimes, so you might need to wait a little bit for it to be ready and to prepare it as well. But then once you've clicked on it, it will be downloaded and then you can flick between them at any point in time if you would like to. And so with all of those, they can all be used with motion wallpapers. So there's plenty to choose from. A lot of these cityscapes and landscapes are quite reminiscent of what's on the Apple TV. So it looks quite nice. And there's one last thing I'll show you here. So on the screensaver you do have the ability to show the clock if you would like to so it has the clock and the date makes it look a bit like ios if you would like it like that so how you do that is you go to the lock screen settings in system settings here and you'll see that there's an option here for show large clock now by default it's only showing on the lock screen but we can also set it to show on the screensaver in the lock screen so now if we turn that on and then we go to the screensaver, you'll see that the large clock is always showing. So it says it's 1.50 and it's Saturday the 28th of October as of the time we're recording this video. So you'll see that that large clock shows up front and center there and it's always there. So I think that's quite a nice addition and it matches the iOS aesthetic as well. So it brings more continuity between iOS, iPadOS and macOS. So it makes them look more similar and then you can see that when I go back out it fades out of that so that's up to you whether you want that setting but I personally quite like that and I'll be leaving it on so yeah that's pretty much it on how to use the new motion wallpapers on macOS Sonoma as you've seen through this video they are very nice and they look really um, quite nice compared to the um, old wall screensavers we used to have you'll see that there's still the screensaver section and um, this pretty much does the same thing here and we do also have our same old screensavers if you would still like to use them such as Drift, Shell and more. So if you'd like to use those ones, they're still in here but they're buried at the bottom of the screensaver menu. So uh, you can still get to those if you'd like them but they're really trying to push on you all these nice new ones which I think are really nice and visually appealing. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in trialing some of these new options for the screensaver and wallpaper combos on macOS Sonoma. Make sure you do keep in mind that you do obviously have to be on macOS Sonoma for this. So macOS Ventura and older will not work for this process. So make sure your Mac is compatible and updated to macOS Sonoma to get access to this feature. And yeah, once you've got that, hopefully you've had some fun playing around and choosing something that really suits your Mac and it might make a lot more people use screensavers once again because it's actually visually appealing especially if you've got an iMac or a desktop Mac that sort of sits in a communal area people can see it as they're walking past and it looks quite nice and the large clock does add an element of function there as well which is also handy so with that thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video